The White House is concerned about the possibility of a strike from railroad workers. That's after railroad unions rejected a deal earlier this week. And Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson reports this could cripple the economy. And that's our top story at five. Fears of a crippling rail strike are back after the country's third largest freight rail workers union rejected a temporary agreement brokered by the Biden administration. They want sick days. The Brotherhood of Maintenance of Way Employees Division says the deal doesn't include enough paid sick time or improve working conditions. It's a move Mary Lee Taylor with Rail Workers United supports. I think the last thing you want is me fatigued running 20,000 tons of crude oil. Taylor says rail companies are putting profits over the safety of their employees. It's unmitigated greed. They had stock buybacks. The rejection is a blow to the Biden administration that spent 20 straight hours negotiating the deal last month. Now the White House is concerned about the impact even the threat of striking could have on the economy. We have to get it resolved. It is not acceptable to have a, of a strike right now uh, as things are so fragile. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm says a strike would especially be bad for the energy sector. We don't want prices to go up for home heating, for example. President Biden is directing the Secretary of Labor to help cool off tensions because preventing a strike will require unanimous support from all 12 unions for any agreement. But if there isn't a deal by November 19th, those unions say they are ready for a shutdown. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson.